Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey, welcome back everybody. This video, we're gonna be talking about concatenation with string literals. And this should be our last video with uh, creepy messages here. So this is an example of a string literal where we're typing the value out hard-coded in our code. Message, this is a variable and it's not a literal. Literals are only the actual value itself. So this here is a literal, this ellipsis here, and so is this HMU. So when we are concatenating variables such as message and then this literal and then this other message, we use this plus operator to concatenate this data. However, if we are working with literals, you don't actually have to put the plus operator. So to show you an example of this, instead of printing this message we just created, let's just print a literal. And let's just say, hey, and then we put a space and then another set of quotes there. And running this, we get, hey there, no spaces because the concatenation doesn't automatically put spaces because it can't assume you want spaces. So if you want a space, you throw that in there like so, but with this literal concatenation, you can put a space in like so, or you can do it however you want. You could put an exclamation mark running this and we get hey there, and obviously our code looks terrible, like why would you do that when you could just put hey there in one string? However, this can be useful for certain situations, I'm assuming. Um, so let's go through maybe another example where this might be useful. And that is if you want to break a string into multiple lines, you know, like you're writing some book, right? And this is a long string and it just keeps going, right? And you're tired of writing, so you're tired of writing it on the same line, so you want to break it down to the next line. Well, when you do this, it's not gonna work. So we say, this is a long string, continued. We run this, uh, didn't do anything. We gotta print it, the print message. Running this now, it says, this is a long string, but the continued doesn't appear. So to make this work, you actually have to put it inside of parentheses and hit run now. This is a long string, continued. So if you were working with numerous strings and you wanna break them out on new lines, that is one way you could do it. And when the actual message is constructed, it's all going to be one giant string. So in our code, it's split up by line. In the actual data, it's combined into one string. So you can use it as one string and there's no new lines built into the string. So this is different than if we did this, where we put a new line in here, because that's gonna be visible in our code and stored in the data, so it goes down to a new line. There is no new line characters when you do the literal concatenation with an extra set of quotes inside of parentheses. So the only other thing I wanna share about this is that if you have some message or some variable, and it, let's just say it says hello, and you try to do this with a variable, so you say message, and then you say there, this is not going to work. It's invalid syntax. Whenever you have a variable or an expression, you have to use a, a plus operator. And that's how you would concatenate. So it only works with string literals. So maybe you'll use that sometime in your development career. Probably not though, so stay tuned for the next video. I'll try to give you something a little bit more useful.